Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. We are going to see dealing with numeric variables with signs and decimal points in this session. Right now I have declared WSB, A, B, C, D as numeric two digit variables. Now here I accept A and I accept B. I am calculating C equal to A minus B. Let us see what happens. Let me compile this. Now let me see whether there are any compilation issues. No issues. Let us execute this. Now I am entering 6 as A, 3 as B. The result is 3, 0, 3 because it's two digits. Absolutely no issues. Let us execute once again. Now I am entering 3. I am making B as 6. Now it says 3 minus 6 also again 3. It's a problem because we have given a minus b, a e was 3, b was 6, 3 minus 6 must be minus 3. The result is not coming because the sign, we have declared only 9 of 2 here, we have not declared any specific sign. So if you want the sign also to be included, you need to have the symbol s just in front of this. Okay, So you need to have s as a separate value, as a separate character before your field definition then you can get the compilation and the execution without any issues. Let us execute this once again. Now I am going to say 3 b as 6. Now 3 minus 6 it is minus 3 but it is printing something like 0 l. It was not readable by me. I don't understand what it is. That's again because what happens is by default he is storing the sign in a different special format. So in order to make sign also to be appearing as a leading symbol, you need to say, you need to say sign leading. Then you have to say the keyword separate. When you say separate, it will be separate symbol like plus or minus explicitly given. If you don't say leading, it will be printed at the as a suffix. Usually it is better to have the plus or minus uh, as, a, as a prefix to any numbers. So you need to say yes as a separate character, then say sign leading separate. Now let us execute this once again, compile, check the compiler and distinct no issues, execute this. Now I'm doing 3, WSA is 3, WSB is 6, now it says minus 0, 3. It's clear. So if you want to deal with signs, then you need to have yes as a separate character. If I want some of my uh, variables to be having decimal points. There are two kinds of decimal points. One is called the implicit decimal point. One is called explicit decimal point. So how do I calculate this? Now what I'm going to do is WSC is WSA minus uh, divided by WSB. So if I want to have decimal points also, then what I need to do is there is something called explicit decimal point, if I use this decimal point, dot, say 9, 9, I want to have two decimal points. So I need to say, yes, 9 of 2, this means it will have a sign, two digits before the decimal point and two digits after the decimal point. So this is how you need to do. If you don't specify this, it will not have the decimal values, so it will truncate those decimal values. So I am giving sign as well as decimal values to this one. Now let us save this, compile. So when you want to have the implicit decimal point, it says uh, improper picture and a redundant class is ignored. There is a problem. Let us see why it is coming out. Okay, see here. I say s yes, 9 of 2 dot 9 9, but there is a problem like this dot gets confused with something coming out after that. So what I'm doing is instead of having explicit decimal point, I'm using implicit decimal point. When you type a character V that says to the left of V, it's all like the integer portion. To the right of V, this is all the decimal portion. So it doesn't store a dot per se inside it, but it stores an implicit decimal point. So whenever you are doing calculations, 
it will internally have a decimal point but it will not waste one extra character in the storage but for all practical purposes you can say the sign this 9 of 2 is the integer portion these two nines are the decimal portions now let us do this I am making WSA divided by WSB I am making this let us compile this the problem was before it was treating that other dot has a uh, as the end of the sentence now I am giving WSA as 5 WSB as 2 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 but it says plus 0 2 but it doesn't show the dot over here it says 250 but the way you need to interpret this is this plus is for the sign these two are the decimal uh, the integer portion these two are the decimal portion but the problem is it is not properly displaying it's a uh, it's it's slightly confusing me so I want a dot right here so when you want to have a dot there all you need to do is okay 77 so I declare uh, WS uh, e picture class 9 of 2 dot 99 nine. okay I just make dot 99 nine. so I want to use this for display purposes using this dot based characters this is called the explicit decimal point what I need to do is I am going to move this uh, WSC move WSC to WSE and then print that value because implicit decimal points with the character V if you if you display you need to remember how many characters are the decimal points so after the decimal point it will be confusing whereas if you use this one it will be easy for you to check it out because it will display in the right fashion so I am moving that final result to the WSC and then printing it let us compile it check the compilation listing no issues now let us execute now I say WSA is 5 WSB is 2 now if you see here 0 2 dot 5 0 so 5 divided by 2 is 2.50 so if I execute the same thing I say WSA is 5, WSB is 3, it says 1.66. There may be multiple digits after that, but it will store only the two digits. So, since you have specified that V99, there are only two decimal uh, portions after the decimal point, and dot nine two decimal points, two de decimals after the decimal point, it will show only the two points. So, if you want to deal with sign, you need to have S as a separate character. If you want to deal with implicit decimal points when you are doing calculation, use V. But while displaying, that implicit decimal point will not show on the screen. To use that, use this. This is called a display decimal point. So it will explicitly show a dot on the screen so that the users can easily understand. So in this session, we have seen the sign class, the sign leading separate symbol, then implicit decimal point V for calculation purposes, explicit decimal point for display purposes. With that we stop here. Thank you.